I'm back with another three minute furniture flip. Man, I wish that that is how long that these take in real life. While the thrift store was loading it up, they busted the base. So we ended up getting it for $80 instead. And I don't know that that was totally worth it, but hey, I'll take it. So I had to glue that back together and then I added pocket hole screws to help secure it down better. Then I took off the poles, cleaned the dresser, filled in the chipped veneer and one hole from each piece of the hardware. Then I was able to sand all of the things that I had filled. And then I sanded the base down to bare wood. We scuff sanded everything else with 220 grit sandpaper and noticed more dings and scratches while we were doing so. So we filled those in and we filled in the wood grain where I had sanded down to bare wood. I did not want that wood grain showing so much in my painted finish. So after all of that was dry, my husband sanded everything again and cleaned up all of the dust. Then he sprayed it all with bin shellac primer in a spray can. Definitely not the most cost effective way of priming, but hey, it was pretty quick. So two coats of primer and a day later, I sanded the primer down smooth to get rid of the super rough texture. And I also caulked a few things and filled in a couple of things that I had missed before. Then it was finally time for some paint. I used Melange's all-in-one paint in the color Knapsack. I poured it into one of my favorite paint sprayers and added some water to thin out the paint. Then I sprayed on three coats of paint and sanded in between the last two coats so the paint would feel super smooth in the end. Then I fixed the chip wood on the base with quick wood and painted the quick wood with some watered down orange paint and some brown paint to make it blend in with that natural wood. And then I whitewashed the base, wiping it off immediately basically after I had brushed it on. Then I mixed up some of the knapsack paint and some light gray paint into some wax and brush that wax over the dry whitewash. And here is what the dresser looks like now. I love this one so much. What do you think? Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it. Okay.